EM95X with the latest firmware, which essentially gives you um, Android 7.1. Um, the Kodi build is a piece of crap, but nobody cares about that. As you can see, they changed the uh, the launch. They call it KD Player. I don't know if that's for uh, legal purposes or whatever, but essentially it launches Kodi. Um, so this is on how to flash it to get it to the 7.1. Now you need this tool, which is called Setup. You can see it. Uh, 2.5.1 to 5, the build 7, whatever. You can see the executable. It, it, it installs on a Windows machine, PC, laptop, however you want to do it. But that's the only one you need. Now, you need a straight USB to USB cable. It has to be big to big, as you can see right there, big to big on my laptop. Now, the trick about it is the box has three USB ports. It has to be in USB 3. Trust me, I screwed with this for hours. It only recognized it in 3. Maybe somebody else got it to work, but I'm telling you, it only works in 3. Now here's the trick about it. You notice if you just unplug it, like you can see my screen, you unplug it. You plug it back in, it powers itself, it's on the on mode. That is no good. It has to be in the off mode. The only way to do that is with your remote. Okay? It's very tricky. If you miss it and it loads all the way to the bootloader, you went too far and it's not going to work. You'll be screwing around forever and ever. It has to be red off. Okay? Another trick about it, I'm going to show you, you guys. You can see the new, I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be. But it loads pretty quick. Okay, so you watch. Let's see if we can get it off. So you get new options now. Like you can say power off instead of restart. So it has to be powered off. Off. It takes a second when it's loading. I don't know, this stupid camera's a piece of shit. You might not be able to see too good. But it has to be, like, powered off. Let me see if I can do it with the button. Okay. You see how I did it with the button? It's just shutting down. It has to be red and off while it's plugged in. That's the only way it's going to work. Now, you're going to see something else about this. What's really freaking weird is you can unplug the power, as you can see, watch, I'll unplug the power so it's off, and I don't have enough room on the network cable, so let me just take that out for now, and as soon as, as soon as you plug this in, the fucking thing's going to power right back up. Like somehow it draws power off of it, off the USB. See it? Now it's on blue. That's no good. See? That's no good. It has to be red when you plug that USB cable in. So I suggest um, plugging the USB uh, in while you have the power plugged in, which is what I did. And then making it shut down so it's in red while the USB cable is on. That is the trick to this whole thing. It will never work. And then you hold your key, your toothpick into that slot, that AV slot, which you see right there. And you can kind of feel it like click when you put it in there and you're holding it in and then you power the box on. If you miss it, what's going to happen, it's going to go right into a bootloader. It'll say, you know, all that shit shut down and restart, all this crap. If it, get, if it goes to that, you missed it. It cannot go to that. It's supposed to go to the EM95 screen 
and just like looks like it hangs. When that happens, that's good because when you run your, I don't know, this video image is real bad because I'm doing it on my phone. When you do that and you run this, uh, that USB tool, you're going to see, why is it so bright? You, you will see that it will show up here. And there's like five devices on the side or it looks like five what they call hubs or whatever. And you'll see yours. And then you import, the, you import your image and then you select, the, you select the, the port that it reads. That's the hardest part, getting it to read. You know, and you're going to be fucking around with the reboot and everything. So you get it to that EM95 and the screen is essentially looks like it's locked. That's when it's communicating with your PC. And that's when you can go ahead and flash it. That's the whole trick to this whole thing. If you have any questions, uh, I'm going to post this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and send it to me. That's going to get you up to 7.1.1 Android. And, uh, you know, that's the whole trick about what you guys are trying to do is to get you to the new Android and uh and you know you put your own cody build onto it we don't care about the stupid chinese build we put our own stuff on the box but it gets you to the android that you need so basically this screen will be just be frozen on that screen you'll see it and it won't move that means it's communicating if it goes through and goes into that bootloader you missed it you missed the whole communication with it so i hope this helps uh, I don't see any other videos out there on this, and feel free to post questions.